Hello guys. In this video I am going to talk about Police Clearance Certificate for Express Entry of Canada. We will get to know about the details, process to apply, the documents and the cost and the time involved. Everything you need to know about Police Clearance Certificates in this video. Hello everybody this is Shutan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants Please visit my channel, I've got many videos and many more are coming soon for you. Also if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, so what is police certificate and why is it required? So basically PCC, police clearance certificate or police certificate, they are all the same things. A PCC is a copy of your criminal record or a statement that you do not have any criminal record. But if you do have one you will not be allowed to enter or stay in Canada. It is a mandatory document and it is supposed to be submitted along with the other documents while submitting your application for permanent residence. Okay, the requirement. Very important. It is required for primary applicant and all the family members who are above 18 years of age. So if you have a child who's a mi who is a minor, you don't need a PCC. For your child. It is mandatory for every country you or your family members have stayed in during the last 10 years for six months or more in a row. By family members I obviously mean spouse and children. So if you have stayed in a country for less than six months even like uh, five months and 29 days you don't need a PCC. Okay you would need to submit the scanned copies of the original certificates in color Mind it, the true certified true copies or unauthorized copies won't be accepted, so please stay away from them and don't take the risk. Okay, so now let's talk about the date of the issuance of certificate. Firstly, for the country you currently live, it must be issued within the, within six months before the date you submit the application. For other countries, it must be issued after the last time you stay in the country for six months or more in a row. Okay, two important points here. If you have a police a certificate that is now expired, you can include it. IRCC will accept it, but the officer might ask for a new one and he'll give you time for that. If you have applied for PCC in the past, you can include the copies of the originals in your application. Okay, what if you don't get the PCC in time. After receiving ITA, you'll have 60 days to submit the application of PR and you have to submit all the documents. If you don't have your PCC by that time, in that case you'll have two options. The first option would be to decline your ITA. In that case, your profile will go back to the pool and if your score you know, becomes higher again than the latest draw, then you might get the invite again. I'm sure that you know most people won't like this option so option 2 is a better one prove that you applied for PCC in very rare cases however IRCC may accept your letter of explanation but you should attach a proof that you made your best effort to get the PCC on time it proves maybe like a confirmation receipt a payment receipt delivery notice and the tracking numbers okay now let's talk about the process how to get PCC. The actual process differs from one country to the other and the link is given in the description box below. You can just select your country and it will tell you the process for uh, different countries. For basically for your country actually. Here I'll uh, discuss the process for India. So if you are a citizen of India, if you stayed for more than six months, uh, you can continue watching this video. So if you live in India, for residents of Punjab and Delhi, you can go to your uh, for, uh, SP of police and you can get the PCC. For residents of Delhi, however, you do have an online facility as well. I'll provide the link here in the description box below. Uh, for other states also, you can go to the, uh, the local district police station. However, the famous uh, way of getting and the faster way of getting uh, the PCC is getting it through the online application in the passport 
website of India. So I'll provide the link in the description box below. However, if you live outside of India, you can apply at your nearest embassy or consulate. Okay, now let's talk about the process for PCC through passport offices in India. So the first step is submitting an online application in the passport website. The uh, link you can find in the description box below. The step two, you have to go to the passport with the documents, which are the documents I'll discuss later. Here, it depends on the passport officer actually, if uh, he wants to, you know, if he's assured, uh, he can, uh, you know, give you the PCC immediately over there. But if he, he wants, he can, he can actually he can uh, send a police officer to your place and then police officer will come for a check and then you'll actually uh, have to go to the RPO, that is the regional passport office again to get the, uh, to get the PCC. Here you'll get a notification of when the police officer will be arriving and you, when he has submitted the report and when you can uh, go to the passport office again. Okay, so now let's talk about the documents and the cost and the time. So the documents basically include your most uh, important document is the passport and the copies of the first and the last page. You should also have a document as a proof for application for immigration. So if you've got the ITA, that is uh, good enough. You can just take it with you. Also, the address proof, if the current address has been changed from whatever is mentioned in the passport. So address proof is not required if the address is same. Okay, the cost, it will cost you 500 rupees flat. Okay, time, if uh, the passport officer actually approves your request on the first day itself, then you'll receive the, uh, then you'll receive the PCC on the same day. However, if uh, he if he doesn't, uh, you know, approves your request at that point of time, and if he sends a police officer to your place uh, to do the check, so overall that process will take two to three weeks. So please prepare your, uh, please prepare your application and you know get your PCC as soon as you get your ITS. Please start all these things because this might take three weeks. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries or doubts. Please comment in the comment section below. I would also love to hear the feedback from you. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you.